Epilogue. Hello everyone, my name is Escher, and about a year ago, I was part of a fundraiser for my school prom. I took this opportunity to examine firsthand people's strategies for getting out of donating money, and I recorded all of my findings. However, I never brought my findings to the public, so I thought today I would publish all that I learned into an easily absorbable medium. Welcome to the big book, O oh, Charity of Origin. Chapter 1. Pretend to be completely absorbed in some other activity. Fake or real phone conversations. Put in headphones. Run past. Have a very heated conversation with someone. Your friend. Or, if you're lacking one, ask someone else on the street, who's also trying to avoid donating. Chapter 2. If forced into dialogue. For instance, Hey, would you like to make a donation to our school? Try some of the following. I can't eat, blank. Oh, if only I carried money. Oh, my wife and or husband has the money. Maybe later. Maybe on the way back. I'm already fat. I already had sweets today. Maybe after lunch. Ooh, those look good. Any of them vegan? If any of them are, follow up with any other of the above options. Ooh, maybe after lunch. Mm, I don't know. Just keep walking. Just don't stop walking. Give them the cold shoulder. Keep walking. Hold up your hand if you want to be cheeky. Ooh, I only have my debit card. Sorry. God bless. Uh, I don't like sweets. Uh, I'm gluten free. Nah, I don't like that school. Bad school. Bad people. Filled with devil worshippers. Ah, uh, I just spent all of my cash on lettuce. Ooh, sorry, I'm broke. Especially use this one if you are obviously wealthy. So, thus far, I've covered a lot of very normal strategies of avoiding, um, charity. However, there was this one guy who came up, and I recorded most everything he said because it was really strange. Um, I'm just going to read that off for you now. Uh... Ahem. It starts with one thing. I'm not a human being. I just have one thing. The wild. The wild animals that lick my hand. Like the rattlesnakes. And the mountain lions. Where all of this started was in my young adult life. I was in the Marine Corps when they realized that I could do anything that no one else could. I could get to the one place from another without an instrument. Not because of the compass in my head, but that, that's when they realized I wasn't human. It's kind of fun. I don't know if you realize this, or if it has anything to do with Richard Nixon, but yeah, it was, it was kind of fun. You probably knew the bombing of North Korea, Vietnam. That was kind of fun. And it all comes down to the fact that I do not have any human parts, and besides, having rattlesnakes lick your hand is... Much more fun. Man, I'm gonna give you some art that I found at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. And those things come to me, and it's fun. And I just say, this happened for a reason. You probably heard of that place in Kansas that got hit by a tornado. It was kind of fun. Then the United States decided to pop Marilyn Monroe and popped her. It, it was, it was kind of fun. And here's a cute bibbo. It's called Java Dreams, and it is not a photograph. To wake up and go to sleep with James Dean looking down at me like this, it, it's kind of fun. And the fun thing about James Dean is he is not looking at you. His head is pointed down and his eyes are looking up because he doesn't want a full profile of himself. It's kind of fun. This concludes my scientific findings from that day. Um. All that you have heard today were real quotes from people just trying to avoid charity. It's, it's a difficult task, so if you ever find yourself in that difficult situation, feel free to use any of the, or any of the ones that you've heard today. Um, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.